Just so you know, I'm not live, though. Into it! collected on that debt for you. They paid up? Guess my name still means something out there. People are still scared of me. They are. I got rid of Javon for you, but I let your ex go. That fool Charisse, she just couldn't help herself. She always told me she'd burn me good. Guess I should've listened. Happy she ain't dead, though. She just an idiot. Peace, man. Yeah. 
Aaron Dilettante. Bad plus good. Oh. better for everyone. Founded by a venture capitalist. Invested in by hedge funds. Run by a computer. This is the future of the entertainment. What's up, money? Not much. How are you? Chilling. It's all good. Well, mostly good. Mostly? Yeah. Dwayne's been getting on my nerves. Pushing me, man. But whatever. We spoke about that shit already. Uh, give him time. He's just out of prison. <laughs> For real. Listen, G. Dwayne ain't the only thing I got on my mind. No? No. Some motherfucker's been calling me a phony, calling me a snitch, calling me all kinds of bullshit. Big deal. Yeah, big deal. Damn right. Until I discover that same motherfucker, well, he's got some real loose lips. Not bad. So, you need this guy silenced? Yeah, he hangs out with his team near the courts on Exeter between X and W. Okay. What does he look like? Well, son ain't too diesel or nothing. Now, he a regular looking dude, know what I mean? Now, he don't flash his guap too much, but you can see it in his eye. He a hustler. Eh? <sighs> Homie ain't too brolic, but he ain't scrawny neither. And he be styling on him a little, you dig? I mean, he ain't too bummy, but he grimy too. So, he's the average one? Look, he's brown skin B. Motherfucker be rocking baggy clothes, all that. Jewels and he stay fresh with the clean sneakers, know what I mean? And sometimes a bandana. Look, I need more than that to go on. Jesus! Here, take this. Head down there, take a photo, send it to me, and I'll point out which one of them motherfuckers it is. Fine. And that's a little gift for you. And that's why the penetrators ain't doing nothing this season. They got no one who can work the lanes, man. Shit, Lieutenant. That's something I was forced into from the necessity of my financial situation. My body is forced to rob and deal in order to sustain my own well-being and that of my immediate family. I'll do it. Somebody has bad 
is dead. You the man, son. You money. You my ice cold slavic killer. Please don't. Hey, Nico, it's me. Yeah? Who are you? Can you remind me? That doesn't matter. You need to meet me outside the United Liberty Paper Building in Algonquin. It is very important that you be there. Goodbye. Ladies! You want a stock man? Hey, keep your eyes open, man. Where you want to go, Heaven? I want to go to Savannah Heaven. Nobody knows this city better than me. This is it, my compadre. We're here. All I'm saying is that we'll all be judged in the end. All of your brothers. And you, Patrick. And you, Kate. Who's gonna judge Kate? What would she win if they did, Virgin of the Year? No. I'm thinking maybe you can catch VD for both Fuck of us, you, Patrick. Fuck you, Katie. Language. Sorry, Ma. Ho oh, ho, there he is. Mr. Fucking Crazy Man. You want a beer? No. Good, because I ain't fucking got none. Very funny. Maybe if being a drunkard doesn't work out, you can be a comedian. Fuck off. <laughs> and you, Kate, fuck off out of here. But aren't you going to introduce us? Sure. This is Nico, some drug dealing to fucking generate from some armpit in Eastern Europe. That's my ma. Nice to meet you. Hi. And this is my sister, lovely lass, scared to bits of life, and fucking off out of here right now before I throw a fucking bottle at her. Patrick. Nice to meet you. Likewise. See you around. Bye. What a girl. I think she likes you. Word to the wise, though, she don't put out. Which is convenient, because if she did, I'd have to kill you. Understood. Good lad. You got any drugs on you, boy? No. Shit. Well, probably a good thing. We got some business to take care of. Come on.
We've got business out at the docks in Algonquin. Where's your car, man? We need a car. Okay, there's a ship coming in, and we're the welcoming party. Who are we welcoming, and what have they got that makes this drive worth the effort? We're welcoming some of our cousins from the east, but we don't know what it is that they're bringing in. Exactly. Is that it's worth a dollar or two. My brother Gerald had word about it through this Italian, Ray Bacino. He gave us the heads up in exchange for a cut of the haul. What makes you think that the information is legit? First off, I don't trust this guinea for a second. We wouldn't be working for him if our family still had the same status it did back in the day. But that's another story. Am I going to hear this story? Anyone who hangs around my family hears about the old days. Just wait. Oh yeah, Ray Bacino's a slimy motherfucker. The one thing you can rely on him for is greed. I'm too small time to be worth setting up, so the one angle he can be playing is the cash one. Makes sense. Yeah, he'll probably try to give us a fraction of whatever this stuff's worth, but it'll be a fun night. The band's on what you think is fun. A stealing, gunfire, car chases, all the usual stuff. Usual for you and me, maybe. The general population, sure. General population? That's a prison term. You ever been inside? Not in this country. In Europe. They do things different there. Not so much of the fun in the shower that you guys have here in America. Must have been a real disappointment. Bet a guy like you thought he was gonna be real popular with the lifers. Did no one pay you any attention? As I said, the whole prison bitch thing is an American phenomenon. It don't happen on the other side of the ocean. Well, you gotta do some time over here. See what you've been missing out on in your chased European jails. I'm going to pass on that. Send me a postcard if you do some time. Will do. Might even put you on the visitors list. Ah, I'd be fucking touched. You'd be touched if you did some time, that's for sure. We would see if they'd be able to touch me. I got some moves. You're a good man, Nico. I like you. Not in a fun in the showers kind of way. You know, like a male bonding about to go rob some people kind of way. I think I know what you're saying. All right, here we are. What's the plan? We get up on the roof of that where There should be a good view of the dock so we can scope that shit out. Follow me, Nico. You better be right about this shipment. If it's just fish, I'm gonna be pretty irritated, Pecky. This is where the deal's meant to be going down. And here's the boat, right on time. See those boxes on the back of the boat? They must be bringing clone meds. Meds? Yeah, stuff that'll stop housewives cutting their wrists and make their husbands get wood. Meds. Molly, sedatives, antidepressants, meds. Okay, how do we do it? We'll wait until the truck is loaded, then we'll take it. Simple as that. I'll cover you from up here, while you're down on the ground cleaning up. These better be some good fucking pills. The housewives better be grateful.
Know your destiny in the abundance of water. The food. All right, Nico, you drive. I'll take out anyone who tries to follow us. We're going up to Ray's Lockup in Westminster off of Union Drive West. Do you ever wonder what the inside of your colon looks like? I found out the doctor. It's impacted, but not from what you think. Honestly. Let's take a commercial break while I try not to slip my wrists. I'm here in the Lycurgus Labs, where scientists have found that gaining weight is caused by a variety of scientific factors beyond your control. Having children or not, exercise or lack of it, work or lack of work, poor diet or... These are things you have absolutely no control over. Now it's time to take back that control. They're taking this real serious, aren't they? They do not like to be robbed, I guess. Not many people do, and that's a lesson I've learned. Fucking Pacino said it'd be easy. Good thing I enjoy a good rock. What the hell? Is the Chinese New Year already? There's a lot of debate. Pass them up, eh? I'll give them a taste of their own fireworks. Thank you. 
Beauty City's finest are just over there. Brother Jerry's had word from Ray Bacino, his Italian contact, about a big shipment coming in near the fish market. Triads are expecting something and it smells fishy. The fish market smells fishy? Shit, man. I keep forgetting you're not from here. Something smelling fishy means that it ain't quite right. So this shipment smelling fishy means that it ain't gonna be what they say it is. But if it's going to the fish market, they must be saying that it's fish. So? So if this shipment is what they say it is, then it's going to smell fishy anyway. Shut the fuck up. You think you're a right fucking comedian, don't you? Learn the damn language. Anyways, I was in Algonquin last night partying with some sweet college chicks. Yes? You should come along next time. Really? Sure, sure. Guy like you, you'd have a good time. Unless you're hoping to see me sis again. If that's what's going through your brain, then we got ourselves a problem. Oh, yeah? Problems that you'll be letting yourself in for a lifetime without getting action. And I know what happens to a man when he ain't getting any. It ain't pretty. So you got yourself a girlfriend, Becky? I hey, do and I don't, if you know what I mean. It usually means you don't, right? Yeah, uh, you're a perceptive guy. I got the lowdown on you from Elizabeth. Some guys I know have checked you out as well. I think me and you could get along. I need a guy like you on our team. Don't you got other guys to help you out? You're from here. You should know everyone. Well, that's the fucking problem. Everyone in the neighborhood, hell, in the whole fucking city knows us. You can't trust people. I only trust my family, some of them at least, and people I don't know. That's why you're on this job with me. Because you don't know me. That and you saved my life. 
Saving someone's life has got to count for something in this fucked up age we live in. That depends on the life, I guess. Tell you what, I'll snort a load of rails, fuck a lot of drunk girls, get into fights on a nightly basis, and die young leaving a scarred, bloated corpse. That sound like the sort of life worth saving? Most definitely. All right, here we are. What's the plan? We get up on the roof of that warehouse. There should be a good view of the dock so we can scope that shit out. We're going this way. Stick to me, man. Why don't they make these places easier to break into? This is where the deal's meant to be going down. And here's the boat, right on time. See those boxes on the back of the boat? They must be bringing clone meds. Meds? Yeah, stuff that'll stop housewives cutting their wrists and make their husbands get wood. Meds. Molly, sedatives, antidepressants, meds. Okay, how do we do it? We'll wait until the truck is loaded, then we'll take it. Simple as that. I'll cover you from up here, while you're down on the ground cleaning up. These better be some good fucking pills. The housewives better be grateful. Jump down there, man! Have at him!
All right, Nico, you drive. I'll take out anyone who tries to follow us. We're going up to Ray's lockup in Westminster off of Union Drive West. Jesus Christ! Fucking match for me! Shit, Nico, these cocksuckers are all over us! I thought you had the luck of the Irish. I fucking do! It's just that we've got your fucking Slavic driving skills as well! That's where we're gonna get out of this fucking jam! Put your foot down, man! What the hell? Is it Chinese New Year already? There's a bus of grenades! What? Pass them up, Peggy. I'll give them a taste of their own fireworks. in the vicinity, Nico. You should have backed off a long time ago. Here's your advice. Don't get up when I fucking put you down. I smacked a lot bigger assholes than you. Stuff all in there. Sure is. All safe and sound. Whole truckload of it. A lot of wives and mistresses are gonna be happy when their men can hold the nose, huh? Whole city's gonna be hard in a few days' time. Who's this? That's my boy Nico. He's an absolute savior. Couldn't have done it without him. Nico! Come over here. You work for these mick bastards. Fucking guinea. I work for whoever's paying. I might give you a call sometime. Get in, Packy. Hey, I'll catch you around, man.
location centric hey, buddy. and business Where are you headed? Aggregate. I want to go to Joliet Street. Sure thing. We'll be there in no time. I'd like to listen to something else, if that's okay.